All right, let's install .NET on your Macintosh. To do that, go to your Mac desktop, just like you see here, and in the upper left, click on the Apple. Go to the very first pick, give you some information about your Mac. You need to know the CPU type. It's the very first entry. It'll either say chip or processor, and on this side, it'll either say an Apple device or an Intel device. If it says processor, it's an Intel. If it says chip, it's an Apple. Most of the recent Macintoshes will be Apple. Once you've done that, close the information box, open up your favorite browser, and go to .NET, D-O-T-N-E-T, -E then an actual dot, Microsoft.com. You'll see this display. Click on the purple download button, and you'll see .NET 8.0, and then two possible choices for download. The top one, X64, is if you have an Intel device. The bottom one, Apple Silicon, is if you have an Apple chip. Most of you will pick that, so go ahead and click it. A download will begin. You can see the progress of the download in the upper right corner. When it finishes, click on the download arrow and select the package. You'll be asked if you want to install it. You'll say continue because you do want to install it. Good opportunity now to check the version. It should be 8.0 and about 300 or some other higher number than 300. Click continue. Click continue again. You don't want to change the installation location. It'll prompt you for your password. You have to have an administrator level password. You probably do, uh, but if you don't, get the person who set up your computer to give you one. Go ahead and install. Say OK when it's asked if you can make uh, changes. And that'll say writing files. Should be pretty quick. Go ahead and say close. It'll ask you, do you want to get rid of the installer? You don't need it anymore, so go ahead and move it to the trash. Now you should have installed .NET. To verify that, open a terminal window. Looks like this. Now mine already had a bunch of stuff in it. Yours will probably open up blank. You can get rid of anything that's on the screen with the word clear. And I'll make the text a little bigger so it's easier to see. That also moves the input to the bottom of the screen. Don't let that confuse you. And now you can type .NET. If it's installed, you'll see something like this. We can also be doubly sure that we've installed the right version by saying .NET space dash dash list dash SDKs. You might already have had one, but you should have at least this line, 8.0.400 or whatever number it showed you before. If you see that, you've installed .NET on your Mac. Good job.